Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland for us tonight where the president is being treated. Uh, Joe, I want to start with the fact that uh, we have known about this news for several hours and we have yet to hear uh, anyone from the White House get in front of a microphone or any of the doctors treating the president to update the American public. It is now 10.05 there on the East Coast. Unfortunately, that's uh, what we're hearing as well, Marnie, is that there's not going to be an update, at least anytime soon, uh, from the White House. And we asked specifically if we would get any update from either the White House or from the doctors and the media team here at Walter Reed. They told us that the White House is going to be handling this. But again, I just checked with my White House source, and he said, don't expect anything uh, anytime soon. So that's where we are here. Uh, I can tell you that as the president is getting care uh, at Walter Reed behind me, there seems to be a pretty concerted effort by the White House and the president, really, uh, to show that it's business as usual, whether he's uh, at the White House or whether he's here uh, at the hospital. I just got an email uh, not too long ago from the press secretary's office, and I thought it might be an update on the condition of the president. So uh, we were excited, eager to see, you know, what that update was. It was instead, in fact, um, on the president's uh, economic package made in the USA by American, uh, higher American campaign. Uh, so that happened. We know the president also signed a number of disaster declarations today. So again, pretty clear. Uh, that there is an effort to just show that uh, while the president is uh, here at the hospital, uh, it is still he is still working in his capacity as commander in chief of the United States, and that hasn't changed. In fact, we do know. Uh, that at the hospital there are offices that are set up specifically for presidents to be working while they're here. Uh, so we know that is happening. We know the president is in good hands here. The doctors here are world renowned uh, at Walter Reed uh, Medical Center. Uh, we know, by the way, uh, that as you said, we, we haven't uh, gotten an update, unfortunately. Uh, so that's what we're hearing from the White House now. We know that there are no public events that are scheduled for the president for tomorrow. Not a surprise there. Uh, we're waiting to hear either from them or we could hear from the president himself. I think it's telling that we haven't seen the president uh, send out a tweet since uh, that video message before he got on Marine One. Oftentimes when we uh, hear from the White House, it is directly from the president's Twitter feed. That has not happened. So that's where we're going to be keeping an eye tonight along with uh, the White House. If there's anything else that we can find out, it may just be that they're not going to say anything, uh, guys, and that we may have to wait until tomorrow. We know the president is expected to be here for at least a couple of days uh, as the the White House says out of an abundance of caution, we're hoping that those symptoms, the last update we got were, was that they were mild. We hope they stay mild and that they don't get any worse and any more serious, guys, as the president receives care here at Walter Reed Medical Center. Joe, thank you very much. We are joined now by